Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance Thank you, you may be seated. Good morning, and we want to welcome you here with us today at our fifth grade celebration. Boys and girls, congratulations. You are looking really good today. Um, I'm Michelle Dozier, I'm the principal at Hunt Elementary, and I'm excited to be able to share some words with our fifth graders on this very important day. As I thought back through some highlights throughout the years, it is evident that you've worked hard and um, accomplished much in your time with us. You've learned how to read and write, you've become excellent mathematicians, and learned how to think like scientists. You have created beautiful pieces of art, performed musically, and learned how important it is to stay physically fit. You found Pete the Cat, played games at the Husky Hoedown, had a feast as pilgrims and Indians, became a famous American, glued, cut, tied, and created an amazing stick horse for the rodeo. You made us proud as you cheered and encouraged your teammates during fifth grade Little Olympics served as leaders and examples for our fifth grade, for our school as fifth grade helpers, donated canned food, and bought needed items for the animal shelter. Along the way, you have made new friends and you have been taught by many wonderful teachers. Most importantly, I think you've learned what it means to be a responsible and respectful person, a good citizen of our school and community. Before we let you go, however, I hope that you will allow me this one last opportunity to give some advice to take with you to middle school. Number one, work hard. Things won't always come easily to you. What is worth learning is worth working hard for. Number two, be humble. You are smart, talented, and athletic, but so are a lot of other people. Be humble about your accomplishments and be quick to compliment others. Number three, smile. This seems silly, but it is important. Maintaining a positive attitude will go a long way towards helping you make friends and feel good about yourself. Number four, be courteous and respectful towards adults, your peers, and yourself. Good manners and a respectful attitude will take you far. Number five, get involved. Find activities you are interested in and get involved. You are likely to meet new friends who share a common interest and have fun along the way. Fifth graders, you leave here having learned a lot, but you have much more to learn. Be willing to keep on learning from your teachers, coaches, parents, and friends. Maintain a positive attitude, helpful disposition, and a willingness to try new things. Keep reading, be helpful, and be good to each other and keep smiling.
One of the things I'm most proud of as the principal at Hunt Elementary is the PTA scholarship that um, our PTA gives one of our former students at the um, Senior Assembly. The Hunt scholarship is given to one former Hunt Husky each year. Any former Hunt students may apply for this scholarship if they attended Hunt for at least one year of their elementary school career currently attend high school in Springdale and are going to an accredited college or vocational school. An outside committee reviews all applications and determines our recipient each year. I would like to recognize Hudson Parsley as the 2023 Hunt Scholarship recipient. Good morning, my name is Hudson Parsley. I went to J.B. Hunt from 2010 to 2016. In the past four years, I played offensive line for Harbor High School, attack, and I was a captain for Springdale United Lacrosse, and I was a captain for Harbor High School trap shooting team. I graduated from Hi Harbor High School this past Saturday with numerous honors. I first want to thank all the teachers that I had throughout my time here at J.B. Hunt. Ms. Schleisman in kindergarten, Mrs. Collier in first grade, Mrs. Moore in second and third grades, Mrs. Henson in third grade, and Mrs. Casimir in third, fourth and fifth grades. These teachers were the spark that led me to where I am today. My days at J.B. Hunt were filled with enjoyment. Whether I was learning to multiply three-digit numbers together, developing an argumentative essay on why dogs are better than cats, going to my specials classes, eating lunch with friends, playing outside at recess, or celebrating a holiday at a class party, there was never a day with a dull moment. One of my favorite memories here at J.B. Hunt was the Kinder Buddy system. I remember how, when I was in kindergarten, having a fifth grader help me out with reading made such an impact on me as I looked up to these fifth graders. I love that experience so much that when it was my turn to find a buddy, I couldn't wait to help another kid feel the same way that I did only five years before. With that being said, never underestimate the power that you have on others. Even the smallest actions that you have can make someone's day. I feel as if it were only yesterday that I was in y'all's shoes, graduating from fifth grade at J.B. Hunt. I remember sitting up here on stage listening to someone just like me deliver a speech. At the time, the girl from Harbor that spoke to me uh, seemed so much older than myself. It seemed as, though, as if seven years were forever away, but looking back on it now, it is a lot of time, but I speak for myself and for all of your parents that it goes by in nearly a heartbeat. It seemingly goes so quickly just because of how much fun it is to grow up. Sure, it might be scary getting prepared to go to a new school, but you will have so many new experiences open to you. You'll have plenty of opportunities to make more friends from other elementary schools, and you'll have those friends all the way through high school. In his movie, In the Dead Poet Society, the late Robin Williams' iconic line is carpe diem, which means seize the day. This means to enjoy the time that you have and make sure it never goes to waste. Keep working extremely hard to do your very best in everything that you do. I promise that later down the road, your efforts will be rewarded. Take chances on new things. You never know where your next adventure will come from. Thank you. assistant principal here at Hunt and I have the honor of recognizing our fifth grade helpers. So when you are a fifth grader one of your responsibilities is to help um, throughout the building with different jobs. So as I call your job fifth graders if you did this job at any time during the school year I want you to stand up and be recognized. Okay we're going to start with our landscapers. If you are a landscaper please stand up. Garden <laughs> club. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, if you are an office helper, please stand up. Okay, my fire marshal is one of the most important jobs in the building. Okay, if you are a flag raiser this year, please stand up. And then our last one is our safety patrol. On behalf of the teachers and the office, fifth grade, I want you guys to know how much we appreciate you spending time doing those things this year for us. Thank you.
what J.B. Hunt means to me. I can't imagine what it would be like to go to a school that is not J.B. Hunt. When I think back over the years that I have been here, I feel so blessed to have gone to Hunt for my entire time in elementary. There is no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna, going to miss this school, but here are the things that I will miss the most. The caring, supportive teachers and staff members, the way that this school makes learning very special and exciting, and the field trips that we got to experience together. Every day when I step into the building, I am greeted by either Ms. Emerson, our school counselor, or Ms. Dozier, our principal. I love that at our school, the teachers and staff go out of their way to make every kid feel special and important. Hunt would not be what it is today without every staff member here every day. One thing about our school staff that sticks out to me is the fact that most of the teachers have been here since I was in kindergarten, which is special because it shows that they like to teach here and wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Something that I will always remember about Hunt is the way that the teachers at this school motivate their students to learn. My favorite way that they make school more exciting is when we have Friday assemblies and the whole school sings our school song and chants our school chant. The, those moments at J.B. Hunt are the most special to me. Our school also has many different competitions to encourage students to strive to be their best. From the Golden Trash Can Award to the attendance movie parties, we are always encouraged to do our best work and always learn at high levels. The last thing that I will always remember about Hunt are the field trips that we got to go on. These special trips always make learning seem extra fun and like we aren't earn, learning anything at all and just having a good time. Seeing everyone, including the teachers, outside of the school environment is always fun and allows us to see their true personalities. J.B. Hunt Elementary has made a huge impact on my life and the lives of so many others. I couldn't have ever asked for a better elementary school than the one that I got. This very special school makes every kid feel very loved and important. The things that make this school the most special are the incredible teachers and staff members, the way they, they make learning fun and exciting, and the field trips that we take. What does J.B. Hunt mean to you? It can mean different things to different people. If you're new, it can mean new faces and new people to meet. If you've been here before, it can be a home, a place of friends or smiling teachers. But to me, J.B. Hunt isn't just a place to learn. It's a place of teachers, lessons, and memories. Teachers are important to the lives of everyone. Their influence can build a student into a master and help them learn. With teachers, we learn the most important things we ever will, whether it be math or how to forgive. When you have a teacher by your side, you can make it through almost anything. With listening ears, we learn how and when to fight our battles and are given the strength to carry on. Lessons taught by teachers can teach us so much more than reading. In my second grade year, during the pandemic, when I just moved to Arkansas, I would join my Zoom every morning looking forward to what my teacher had to say about today's lessons. Today, though the pandemic has ended, I still come to class with the same hopefulness and enthusiasm. Whether it be hard or easy, lessons have strengthened my learning and have given me a reason to want to come to school each morning. Memories are the most important part of Hunt, at least to me. My memories have built me into the person I am today. Good and bad, they are still a part of my everyday decisions, teaching me of my frequent mistakes and rare triumphs. One of my favorite memories is of my first day of second grade. I had just made yet another move and was nervous to meet everyone, but I was welcomed with open arms and quickly made new friends. Hun has shown me kindness and friendliness since that day. From the moment that I walked through those great brick doors, and now when I leave for the last time, I will always remember remember the memories that have happened at Hunt. When I think of J.B. Hunt Elementary School, I think of what these halls have meant to me, how kind these, how gentle these teachers have been, and how kind these students have been. I've tried to funnel it all into three paragraphs, but I simply cannot, so I will say it again. J.B. Hunt has been a home, a place of smiles and happy tears. I hope 
I love JV Hunt and hope that the students that carry on here will feel the same way about this wonder of a place, my home, JV Hunt. Our first set of certificates that we'll be giving today is the Presidential Certificate, the Pres Presidential Award. The President's Education Awards Program was developed to help principals recognize and honor those students who have achieved high academic goals by their hard work and dedication to learning. With each award, students receive a congratulatory letter from the President a presidential certificate, and a lapel pin inscribed with a presidential seal. In order to be eligible for the presidential award, students must meet district expectations on both ACT Aspire and MAP testing. And for ACT Aspire, it has to be a 70% in reading and math. And in the ACT Aspire, they have to have scored an exceeding in either reading or math. And the following students have met the criteria for the presidential award. Lucy Bloomfield. If you'll, if you'll come and grab, get your certificate and stand at the edge of the stage when I call your name. Lucy Bloomfield. Kellen Carter. Andrea Garcia Mancia. Ledger Hale. Lily Luna. Leah Fandonavong. Colin Fagan. <laughs> Collins Gregory. <laughs> Isaiah Jacobson. <laughs> Nathan Lindsay. <laughs> Noah Mar Mauricio. <laughs> Winley Roder. Jackson Sullivan, <laughs> Ashley, Ashlyn Alberon, <laughs> Asher Curry, <laughs> Brady Dodson, <laughs> Hayes Landreth, <laughs> Sloan Lanning, Kate McGooden, <laughs> Cruz McKeever, <laughs> Dylan Pilato, <laughs> and Claire Rathbone. Congratulations to our Presidential Award winners. You may return to your seat. Thank you. present their certificates for completing elementary school. So first we have uh, JJ Crabtree.
first recipient is Brandon Solis, and when he grows up, he wants to be a real estate agent, and he won the class award for friendliest. Next is Willie Takiata. He wants to be a uh, policeman, and he won the class award of fastest runner. Okay, Mia Carney. She wants to be an interior designer when she grows up, and she won the class award of best girl athlete. Lucy Bloomfield. She wants to be an engineer for JPL when she grows up, and she won the class award of best reader. Okay, Nakaya Hawkins. She won, or she wants to be a veterinarian when she grows up, and she won the class award for neatest worker. Ellie Brantley, she wants to own a fashion business when she grows up, and she won the class award of most fashionable girl. <laughs> Weston Douglas, he wants to be in the MLB, but if that doesn't work out, he wants to be an architect, and he won uh, the class award of best boy athlete. Mandy Earhart, she wants to own her own business, and she won the class award of hardest worker. Okay, Lily Luna, she wants to be a doctor when she grows up, and she won the class award of most dependable. Moses Joe, he wants to be a police officer when he grows up, and he won the class award for most caring. Clara Flores, she wants to be a nail artist when she grows up, and she won the class award for most understanding. Gino Debram, he wants to be in the NFL or a policeman when he grows up, and he won class award for best ideas. <laughs> Andrea Garcia Mancia, when she grows up, she wants to be a doctor, and she won the class award for best writer. Madison Boyd, she wants to be a policewoman when she grows up, and she won the class award for best listener. Okay, Rylan Manuel, he wants to be in the NBA or a real estate agent, and he won the class award for funniest student. <laughs> Helen Carter, he wants to be in the MLB, or if that doesn't work out, he wants to be a comedian. And he won class award for best mathematician. This is lovely, Tachintal, and she wants to be a real estate agent when she grows up, and she won the class award for the nicest smile. Ledger Hale, and he wants to be a preacher when he grows up, and he won the class award for best speller. This is 
is Leah Pondonavong, and she wants to be an interior designer when she grows up, and she won the class award for best singer. Landon Menifee won the class award for best sportsmanship, and he wants to be in the NBA or work at Popeyes when he grows up. <laughs> this is Jerry Napkin, and when he grows up, he wants to be a teacher, and he got the class award for most helpful. Paola Chavez wants to be a veterinarian when she grows up, and she got class award for kindest student. Holden Munson wants to be in the MLB or a mailman, <laughs> and he got the class award for best manners. Lawson Keeter wants to also be in the MLB. We had a lot of that going on. <laughs> but if that doesn't work out, he wants to be an archaeologist. And he got the class award for most cooperative. <laughs> Yondel Flores wants to be an NFL player or a policeman. And he got the class award for most fashionable guy. Jolie Franks wants to be a first grade teacher. I love that. And she got the class award for happiest student. <laughs> Madison Nickerson wants to be a hairdresser when she grows up. And she got the class award for most responsible. Oliver Gietta wants to be a soccer player or a chef, and he got the class award for most artistic. T.K. Ramses Munga. He wants to be an NBA player or an electrician, maybe a chef, and he was voted the person with the nicest smile. Wyatt Holt. Wyatt Holt. He would like to be a rapper or choir teacher or a musician, and he was voted the best storyteller. Katie Kramer, she would like to be the author of children's books or a teacher, and she was voted best reader. <laughs> Essa Vela Calderon, she was voted outstanding organizer, and she was, um, would like to be an artist when she grows up. Mac Bedford, he would like to be a pilot when he grows up, and he was voted the student with brilliant behavior.
Jackson Sullivan. He would like to be an astrophysicist, and he was voted super scientist. <laughs> Henry Lopez would like to be a painter, and he was voted the most cooperative student. Cunningham. She would like to be a real estate agent or a lawyer, and she was voted best singer. <laughs> Michaela Reese. She would like to be a zookeeper, and she was voted the kindest and most thoughtful student. Shavi Martinez, he would like to be a soccer player or a policeman, and he was voted best sportsmanship. <laughs> Will Netzel, he would like to be an NBA player or an eye doctor, and he was voted best boy athlete, and he also received the leadership award. Emma Bullington. Emma would like to be a veterinarian when she grows up, and she was voted best girl athlete. <laughs> Hayden Rader was, wants to be a professional hockey player or a chef, and he was voted most understanding student. Aiden Anzalone was, wants to be a comedian or a mechanic, and he was voted best problem solver. <laughs> Connor Johnson, he wants to be an NFL player or a sports reporter, and he was voted most fashionable boy. Winley Raider, she would like to be a veterinarian and she was voted best listener. <laughs> Alonzo Ramos would like to be an NFL player or an architect and he was voted soccer superstar. <laughs> Colin Fagan. Colin would like to be a professional biker, or in the Army, or Air Force, and he was voted a baseball superstar. <laughs> Allison Gomez, she would like to be a veterinarian, and she was voted the student with the neatest desk. Isaiah Jacobson. Isaiah would like to be a game designer or a software designer, and he was voted most artistic. <laughs> Nathan Lindsay. Nathan would like to be a mechanical engineer or work at NASA, and he was voted the computer whiz. Ellie Riggins. Ellie would like to be a nanny or a therapist, and she was voted, voted Dazzling Dancer. <laughs> Stella McDonald. Stella would like to be an actress or an interior designer, and she was voted Most Fashionable Girl. Ella McRae, Ella would like to be a veterinarian, and she was voted the girl with the nicest smile. <laughs> Noah Mauricio would like to be a state park ranger, and he was voted best role model. <laughs> Dwayne Lokajak would like to be an NBA player, for the Golden State Warriors. 
or a basketball trainer, and he was voted funniest student. <laughs> Violet McCall. Violet would like to be a biologist or a veterinarian, and she was voted most responsible student. Collins Gregory, she would like to be a poultry scientist or a dermatologist, and she was voted most helpful. Ms. Netzel. We're going to start with Galaxia Torres. She was voted neatest worker and wants to be a fashion designer when she grows up. This is Claire Rathbone. She was voted best speller and she wants to be an elementary teacher when she grows up. Raylene Cham, she was voted best writer and wants to be a book publisher when she grows up. <laughs> Levi Belzano, he wants to be an MLB baseball player and he was voted best listener. <laughs> this is Zachary Belzano. He was voted most caring and wants to be a computer programmer. <laughs> Dylan Piloto, he was voted most fashionable boy and he wants to be a professional soccer player. <laughs> this is Brady Dodson and today is his birthday. He was voted voted fastest runner and he wants to be a track runner when he grows up. <laughs> Kate McGooden, she was voted most responsible and she wants to work with and help animals when she grows up. <laughs> this is Julian Gray. He was voted most understanding, and he wants to be a football player. <laughs> Sophia Duran was voted most fashionable girl, and she would like to be an actress. <laughs> Yosko Ritak, she was voted friendliest, and she wants to be a model. This is Matthew Macias. He was voted with best sportsmanship and he wants to be a basketball player. <laughs> Damian Holloway was voted most cooperative and he wants to be a mechanic when he grows up. <laughs> this is Karina Abbott. She was voted happiest and she wants to be a criminal investigator when she grows up. <laughs> Fallon Hale was voted with best ideas and he wants to be a comedian. <laughs> this is Natalie Marks. She was voted best singer and she wants to be a small business owner. This is Ruslan Tarasuk, and I want to just say a couple of things about this student real quick. He came to us right before Christmas from Ukraine, 
and since um, coming here to our school, he has been such an amazing part of our um, school family, our classroom family, and he has made so many friends, and he has just worked so hard and is doing great, and we're just so glad to have you with us. And with that being said, he was voted hardest worker in the class, and he wants to work with music when he grows up. This is John Jeebus. He was voted funniest, and he wants to be a baseball player. <laughs> this is Liam Taylor. He was voted most helpful. He helps me with computer issues every single day. Um, I mean, really, I'm not going to let you leave. I don't know what I'm going to do. He wants to be a game developer when he grows up. This is Hayes Landreth. He was voted best mathematician and he wants to be a sixth and seventh grade music teacher. <laughs> this is Sienna Roshinsky. She was voted kindest student and she wants to be an elementary teacher. <laughs> this is Ashlyn Alberon. She was voted best reader and wants to be a cosmetologist. <laughs> Asher Curry was voted most artistic and he wants to be a lawyer. <laughs> this is Jake Pacheco. He was voted with nicest smile and he wants to be a soccer player. She was voted best girl athlete, and she wants to be a teacher, an interior designer, and a soccer player. <laughs> Cruz McKeever voted most dependable. He wants to teach people how to ride mountain bikes. This is Micah Flores. He was voted best boy athlete and he wants to be a professional baseball player. <laughs> this is Carter Jones. He was voted with best manners and he wants to be a lawyer. All right, in a minute, we're going to show a video. Um, and afterwards, okay. And afterwards, um, the teachers are going to be in the hallway um, and each one will have a station and you can check them out there. So enjoy the video. Oh, we're gonna sing a song first. <laughs>
can move a mountain, you can break rocks, you can be a master, don't wait for luck. Dedicate yourself and you can find yourself standing in the hall of fame.